what's going on YouTube? Today we're gonna to be taking these black Air Force Ones and turning them into this black bandana custom. First thing we're gonna do is go over some supplies. supplies. You're gonna need some bandanas, whatever color you wanna use. You're gonna need some painter's tape, some scissors. You're gonna need some spray adhesive, some acetone, and some cotton balls to get this project started. There's gonna be a couple of more items we're gonna need. We'll talk about that later on in the video. First thing you're gonna do here is strip down the areas that we're gonna be spraying the spray foam adhesive onto, which is basically gonna be the quarter panels uh, where the Nike swoosh is at. After you're done stripping the shoes down, you want to take your painter's tape and basically put tape over the whole area of the quarter panel and where the swoosh is at. That way we can get an outline of that and cut that out. And you're gonna wanna go over this with something to make sure it's nice and tight. You want it as tight as possible so your outline is pretty much exact as you can get it. After we're done tracing out around the swoosh in the quarter panel, what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel those off and we're gonna label them so we know which shoe and what side of the shoe that they go on. So now you wanna grab your bandana and what you're gonna do is lay your bandana out flat and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the tape that you labeled and you peeled off of the Air Force One, you're gonna put those on in the areas that you want to be shown on the side of the shoe. So what I'm doing here is going over and basically putting these things right in the middle of the busiest part of the bandana. Once you get the tape and your pattern laid down where you want, you're gonna cut each section out and then basically you're gonna cut around as close to the line that you made as possible. That way you're gonna get the most exact fit as you can get. You want these things to look factory. The next thing you wanna do is you're gonna grab your painter's tape and you're gonna tape off the quarter panel of the shoe as well as the Nike swoosh and you're basically gonna be taping around that area so the area we're gonna be laying down the bandana on is open. And once you get your quarter panel all taped off you're gonna to wanna to tape the rest of the shoe off around the whole entire shoe to make sure you don't get any of the spray adhesive anywhere that you don't want to. Next thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna take the spray adhesive and we're gonna spray the back sides of each piece of the bandana that we cut out, as well as the quarter panels that we taped off of the Air Force One. Air Force One. Air Force One. You're gonna wanna let the spray foam sit for at least one minute. And after one minute on both sides, once you put them together, it will basically stick instantly. If you let the spray foam set up for about three to four minutes, when you come back to try and put it together, it'll give you a little more leeway if you need to move the bandana around after placement. Once you get your bandana laid down on the quarter panel, you're gonna grab a corner of the tape, peel that back so you can see what you got. Not bad at all. One thing that I like to do is take something that kind of has a corner to it and make sure that you tuck in all of the edges. It just gives it a more authentic, professional, factory look. Once you have all your quarter panels done and laid down, tape peeled back, taken off, next thing that we're gonna do here is gonna we're gonna hand make tongue tags. So what you're gonna need to make these tongue tags is a thin sheet of leather or just something very very thin that's flexible and I actually have a template that I made that is cut out to the exact same size of an actual Air Force One tongue tag. So for this next step what you're going to do is you're going to trace your template on the sheet that you're going to be using for your backup tongue tags and then you're going to cut those out but what I like to use to cut stuff like that out is just a ruler and a hobby blade. And that's going to ensure that you get a nice straight cut. 
Next thing that you want to do is grab your spray and you're going to spray down the back side of the bandanas that you want to use as well as the replacement tongue tags that you cut out. Let it sit for at least one minute and then place where needed. After that, what you're going to do is put another coat of spray adhesive on the back side of that. Let that set up and then fold the corners in. And you're going to want to do this a couple of times to make sure that you have everything folded in and it's nice and tight. If you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. It would tremendously help my channel on my journey to 1,000 subscribers. And after just a few steps, you can see that we have some custom made bandana tongue tags. Next thing that we're gonna do here is use a three millimeter stitching spacer, which is going to let me get even stitching across the entire tongue tag. With a disappearing ink pen, I made a white line across the tongue tag and then use the stitching spacer across that so I could see where to poke the holes in the tongue tag. Another thing you can do is poke the holes through the tongue tag before you actually sew it on. I'm gonna be using a leather shoe patcher to put these tongue tags on, but you can also use a stitching awl and do it by hand. After you're done stitching, you're gonna have some string hanging loose. Uh, what I like to do is I like to grab some scissors, cut that as short as possible, then grab a lighter and kind of singe the ends to make sure it doesn't come loose. And there you have it, handmade tongue tags. Again, if you take your time and follow the proper steps, you can get long lasting and factory looking results every time. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to stay in the loop on any new videos we drop. If you have any questions or need help with anything, leave me a message down in the comments. I'm gonna leave you with some on-foot footage. Sneaker vinyl dot sneaker vinyl dot